guys and today on Tom's World we're showing you how you can reuse old computer keyboards. We all have them kicking about somewhere whether it's from an old computer or just from junk in the house um, or you can pick them up for fairly cheap around some shops in towns and stuff. Um, but today we're going to be showing you how you can reuse these for a really cool personalised uh, phone case and for other cool designs that you can use these keyboards for. You will need a Stanley knife or some other bladed object, a glue gun, a screwdriver and I find that little tubs are handy to put spare screws and stuff in uh, from parts like this. So first of all we need to remove the screws from the back of the keyboard. Uh, on this one there's quite a few for different things. Um, on yours it may vary but um, just unscrew them and take the back off. Once you've taken out all the screws just lift off the back of the keyboard. Um, you don't need this bit so just uh, put it to one side. Now once you're inside you'll be confronted with this floppy circuit board. Take that out but save it for another project uh, that I'll be doing in a future video. Um, now you're going to be faced with these little rubber button push things. Um, either that or they'll be on a big sheet. Just take all of them out. Next you're going to want to take off this little circuit board that connects to the USB lead. Uh, some of them have screws on the outside which go into these slots here uh, so that this sh one should just click out with a bit of pressure, there we go. Uh, yours might be different but either way you don't need this, uh, however you can take the LEDs and that off the circuit board if you want to reuse them for something. And hang on to the USB as well because I may be using that in a future project. Well, these little, uh, my keyboard has these little buttons at the top. These will fall out within the next bit, so if you want to take them out now, and then they won't fly everywhere because they're just a pain to find that they're that small. At this point, that if you want to rearrange your letters for a personalised message or name, do that now. Um, just some of them have little clicks on the back. You just need to push in, and they'll just fly out. Once you've rearranged your letters, use your blade or a saw or something, maybe a little Dremel, to cut around where the letters are. It can be a bit thick, so it might take a couple of cuts to get through it all. You cut it out of the main keyboard. If there's any little bits like that that you just need to share off, just do that to get it nice and even. This is a bit of a bad example, but uh, these are good for using on the fronts of books and little journals and things, and also on like phone cases or possibly iPad cases, depending on the size. Um, they're fairly easy to make, not, don't take too much, yeah, just enjoy doing it, and, you know, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and, yeah, just, uh, keep subscribed, uh, for more content, thanks for watching.